Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and of course also compare it to the DXY. But before we start I have some important news that you have to listen very careful because you can get some free rewards and also I have to announce a new giveaway that we're going to do here in this channel in the future. So first off on Bybit, if you are trading on Bybit and if you have ever used my sign up link or if you're opening up a new account right now with my sign up link that you find down below here in the video description, if you scroll down, you will see this link for Bybit. If you open up an account with my link, you will not only get this $90 sign up bonus if you fulfill all the requirements here of this rewards hub, but also for this month of October if you put in here where it says voucher code Alessandro the crypto you can get an additional bonus up to 180 dollars so if you put in here this voucher you just have to copy paste it in here I will leave this also down below here in the video description you then click here on redeem and automatically you will be able to redeem it and get these extra rewards if you put at least 0.1 bitcoin so if you deposit 0.1 bitcoin during this month you will get 60 dollars for free 0.2 bitcoin 120 and if you put a total of 0.3 bitcoin you can get up to 180 dollars completely for free as a bonus here that you can use to trade and all the profits that you will do with this bonus of course you can also withdraw to your wallet so this is a very special promotion that is going on right now on bybit so take advantage of it go here to the rewards hub put here this voucher code and you will be able to get up to 180 dollars extra bonus then the second thing that i have to mention is that currently i'm using this co-vesting feature on prime xpt if you don't know prime xpt here also you can trade bitcoin and other assets with leverage and you find the sign up link as well down here in the video description and with this unique feature of this co-vesting thing you can just follow successful traders here and the funny thing is really that you can just top up any amount that you want here just put some bitcoins in it and this is automatically gonna follow this trader so a piece of the gains that you will do with your money goes automatically to the trader so the trader also wants to be successful and at the same time here you can very easily also gain some money if you're following the right trader of course it is a bit hard to follow here the right traders especially if they are new ones like here the first top trader here currently i'm trying out and following this number one trader and so far i am having 41 percent gains without doing anything so if you don't want to be 24 7 in front of the screen and maybe you want someone else to trade for you you can analyze here all the strategies of these traders and maybe one is fitting for you and you can just follow this trader very easy simple and of course there is also a high risk that you could lose everything but if you want for example next to your own trading also try out this kind of thing then prime xpt is the right exchange and if you're trading at your own make sure that you're currently trading on femex because on femex there is a trading event going on you can also find all the details down below here in the video description i have the link for the event there you can get some extra rewards and you will profit from less trading fees if you're trading during an event so if you're anyway trading bitcoin and other cryptos up to one on the decks currently it's probably better to trade here on femex because you will get the most rewards and you can win up to 100 bitcoin so definitely go and check it out if you're interested and now let's start with the content because bitcoin could be on the way towards 14,000 right now it is possible that we first gonna see a little pullback to the downside potentially also to close the cme gap that we still have down here at 11,100 dollar so it is possible that maybe we come down first here to test this 11k before we heading up towards this 14,000 which in my opinion is very likely to get reached but why 14,000 I'm gonna reveal it in the daily time frame first let's analyze here this 
lower time frames let's start here in the one hour because after this breakout here from this eleven thousand five hundred dollar resistance we came up here to the target of eleven thousand eight hundred and currently we are seeing here a potential local top so a little rejection that brought us straight back down here towards eleven thousand five hundred dollar and currently we're testing now this new support which of course also could turn again into resistance if we are not able to have a big bounce from it right now because here the one hour cooled off you see that rsi came down to the 50 level and in theory now we should have a big bounce to the upside if we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the rsi and also here the 50 moving average which is acting as a support at the moment then be prepared to see prices again below 11,500. and in that case i would target here this previous support and resistance here at 11,100, dollar which is also coinciding with the 200 moving average in the one hour and also with our our CME gap and comparing to the DXY right now you can see that the DXY had another price rise up here and currently we are seeing a pullback but just down to the 20 and 50 moving average so here we could expect another continuation towards the 200 moving average let's see if the DXY is strong enough here to push through but as you can see here in the one hour time frame it looks like that we are having here a local bottom and we could be in here for a possible retest of this area up here at around 93.50 and now let's have a look quickly into the bollinger band in the bitcoin price because here currently we're trading in the lower end so on the bearish side in theory we will get rejected here at this eleven thousand five hundred dollar area and uh, eleven thousand four hundred currently is the bottom so if we're gonna get rejected here i think we're gonna overshoot the bollinger band to the downside here very quickly in the one hour we have now ksc and MACD shifted to the downside bearish and also the stochastic now is an oversold condition so if we are not seeing a bounce right now then i think we will initiate here a possible big leg down towards eleven thousand dollar so that would be an around five hundred dollar move to the downside and if you trade this with a low leverage i think you can also scalp a little bit of bitcoins here but you don't have to necessarily short it because it is still very risky to go short on bitcoin since we are now in this bull run and we just have small pullbacks on the way up so be very careful if you are shorting and scalping right now opening longs should be way better here in the next couple of years for sure but if you want to scalp a little bit if you're really sure that maybe we will go a couple of hundreds of dollars down then of course you can also short it but be very careful and always use stop losses and now let's head over into the four hour because here currently you can see that the 20 moving average is perfectly lining up with our support here at eleven thousand four hundred dollar so here there is still a high chance that we could see a big bounce to the upside because the 20 moving average is always holding as a support during an uptrend and uh, also the rsi is cooling off here a bit so we could be in here for another big leg to the upside we still have a lot of room left to the upside towards this potential target of fourteen thousand dollar the problem is really only that we have this cme gap very close to us down here at around eleven thousand dollar and that's why there is still a risk that we maybe come first down here to close the gap and then continue here to trade higher but i could be also wrong it is also possible that first we're going towards 14k and then correct down to potentially also close the cme gap that we have down here and if we have a look into the bollinger band here you can see that currently we're trading on the bullish side and also we bounce successfully from this first moving average so as long as we're trading here between 11,400 and 11,560 we should be good to go to the upside but as soon as we're going to have a four hour close below 11,400 be prepared to see continuation towards 11,000 dollar for sure and we also have KSC and MACD now shifted to the downside stochastic as well so even though we are still looking bullish here I think there are already some signs that maybe we could see here this gap feeling coming up pretty soon but of course as I told you even though we could go down I still think in the next couple of days we will for sure see here 14k in the Bitcoin price coming up pretty soon especially if the dxy continues to plunge here because currently here in the four hour you can see that we're getting rejected from the 20 moving average and if the 20 and 50 are trading again below the 200 moving average 
then I think this will initiate a big sell-off in the DXY and of course a big pump in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market. Currently I'm having here a buy signal and also the RSI is looking a bit oversold so in theory we should see here continuation to the upside but if the DXY is too weak and cannot even handle this 20 and 200 moving average in a 4 hour and gonna get rejected here I think we will see here a big plunge to the downside and the target could be down here at $91 and that could mean a huge pump in the Bitcoin price. And now let's go over to the daily time frame in the Bitcoin price because here you can see clearly this blue channel that we are in right now in the daily time frame since we bottomed out here in March. And as you can see currently we are right here at the bottom very close to our main support of around $11,700. So this is where I would scale in some longs if you want to take this trade. If we are coming first back down here again I think this will be the perfect long entry you can already start now longing and make sure to DCA down to these levels because if we are having here a big pump to the upside the top at the moment would be right here at $13,800 and that's why I think we could be heading here in the next couple of days towards this target of 13 thousand eight hundred dollar let's see if we can reach this price level before maybe we're gonna have another major correction down to the bottom here but of course also keep an eye also on this support at ten thousand seven hundred because if this is getting broken then we could be in here for a major correction potentially even lower than 9600 where now the 200 daily moving average is lining up because the RSI currently in the daily is looking a bit toppy although in my own indicator we could maybe hit a sell signal here in the next couple of days if we are not able to push higher right now so if we are starting to consolidate here or maybe even create lower highs in the daily time frame right now then this could initiate a potential sell signal but so far we are still good to go and I'm expecting continuation here to the upside also because we are trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average so you definitely should look for a good long position right now. So the daily here is looking still very bullish in my opinion even though there is also a little hidden bearish divergence here. So if you compare here the highs we have here a lower high compared to this one over here at 12,000 but the RSI has exactly the opposite. In the RSI we have a higher high in the RSI so that is a hidden bearish divergence and if this is going to play out we potentially going to see here a local top and a bigger correction at least towards 10,700 potentially even lower if we're going to lose this support but here we have a hidden bearish divergence in the daily since here we are higher in the RSI and lower in the price and that of course could be a sign of weakness right now and also that we could see here a potential local top and we're gonna see a major correction here at least towards 10,700 maybe even lower. My bearish target is still here to reach the 200 daily moving average and also retest this old resistance which now should be support here at $9,100. So let's hope that if we're gonna lose here the support of 10,700 we will not also lose here this area otherwise we could see prices again towards eight or seven thousand dollar which of course we don't want to see right now during a bull run but of course even though we could go down to those levels we will still remain bullish on bitcoin for the long term this would be just for the short to mid term bearish but for the long term we are still very very bullish here on the bitcoin price so we have here a hidden bearish divergence guys and you should be careful if you are going all in right now with longs if you can manage your trade even if it goes down to 9k you should be doing fine but be very careful if you go all in or with high leverage because the daily is still looking very bullish but there is also some signs that we could see a potential local top right now but I still think there is a very high chance that we could go up here to $13,800 in the next couple of days because also this hidden bearish divergence could be denied if we starting to pump like crazy here and of course take out these highs that we had here then of course this would be denied but at the moment as it stands right now there is this risk that it could play out. 
And now let's switch over into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here you can see that we are still overshooting it to the upside. So retracement back down here towards 11,000 is still in the cards would also coincide with our CME gap. And after six days only pumping a little correction of course is in the cards. So let's see if today or in the next couple of days we get this CME gap feeling, this little pullback and then we can gear up for another big move to the upside. But this is Bitcoin. We can also have weeks over weeks all in the green before we're gonna see any kind of correction so of course shorting right now is very risky so be careful if you're taking this possible trade here but maybe if you want to trade the safe way then wait for a correction and then start to scale in some nice longs and here in the daily you can also see that we have now KST and MACD shifted to the upside so that is what we want to see here in the daily and uh, stochastic is overbought so based on this indicator it looks like that we could see a little cool off maybe before we gearing up here for the next big leg up. And now we can have also a quick look into the DXY in the daily because in uh, the DXY currently I still think we are losing very important supports here and also since we are trading now below the 20 and 50 daily moving average we could see here a potential continuation to the downside incoming pretty soon. We had here a sell signal and currently we still have a lot of room left to the downside. Also RSI is trading below the 50 so the DXY is looking really bearish in my opinion and it's just a matter of time until here we're gonna see a potential crash towards 91 dollars so we are getting rejected right now from very important resistances here and the dxy is so weak that it still cannot break out from this bullish pattern that we are in currently here in the dxy even though we are in a bear market here this falling wedge in theory could have a chance to break out to the upside and test it at 200 daily moving average which of course would lead into a crash in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price but if the dxy is not able to break out here to the upside and maybe even the opposite happens that we're gonna lose here the support and start to crash even further down then of course we're gonna have a huge bull run in the bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market so this is going to be very interesting to see what the dxy is doing in the next couple of days and weeks and with that said guys i'm going to wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching if you like the content make sure to subscribe here to the channel moon up the likes and also if you're interested in any kind of trading exchanges or if you are new in the crypto space you can use all the links down below here to open up accounts you will get some rewards if you use my links and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat and also my channel over on twitch and i almost forgot my friends i gonna do a new special bitcoin giveaway worth of 50 dollars with every 1000 subscribers here on youtube so with every 1000 subscribers the next one will be at 2000 subscriber we're gonna do another special giveaway worth of 50 dollars in bitcoin so definitely make sure to subscribe here to the channel so you will not miss out once we're gonna reach here these 2000 subscribers thank you again very much for your support my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye